moves away for the black coming back onto its spot. Six. And again, he could have just done with it a couple of inches harder. He's too high. Reese Clark, six. <clears throat> he's covered the red. But he's left the red to the left centre, I think. Knew as soon as he hit it that he got it wrong. And it can be a very difficult place to be snooker arena when you're struggling as Reese Clark is right now and you're being steamrolled by one of the all-time greats one. yes he wanted to catch it cushion first which would have brought the cue ball out for the black an excellent pot on the black. That was a tough pot. And I suppose when you're 5-0 up, you can afford Eight. to go for them. And it's worked out really nicely. Nine. Is this the beginning of the end, then? Rhys Clark will fear the worst, the way O'Sullivan's been queuing and scoring when he's had the chance. Could scarcely have had a tougher assignment in the second round. Seventeen. But he is very wet behind the ears as a pro. He's made an encouraging start to his career with those last 16 appearances at the European Masters and the English Open. Twenty four. Twenty five. Yes, great experience for him. Very well. And he left that a little straight. Thirty two. Judge that one well. Forty. Forty-one. I'm a bit surprised. Sullivan's pop percentage success is only 92. Only, I say, 92 is very good, but he hasn't missed many today. 49. Not quite as good from long range as usual. Although most of the time he's been getting in at close range, so I don't think he's had many <coughs> long range pots to take on. 55. 56. It's been very brisk, just a shade over an hour and ten minutes of playing time. A very commanding start in front of the TV lights to Ronnie O'Sullivan's bid for a record equally sixth 64. UK title. 75. George Yu may well be watching on somewhere. I don't think he'll be enjoying 72. this overly. He's going to be Ronnie's next opponent. Reese Clark certainly hasn't enjoyed it, but it's all part of the learning experience for him in his fledgling professional career. 78. 
O'Sullivan scheduled to be back on the table tomorrow afternoon against Georgiou. And of course, we'll bring you that match live. 79. And in full. He's going to take some stopping if he maintains this kind of form. Yes, he's had chances, but he's took them, hasn't he? With all those big breaks. 85. Five breaks over 80. That's some plain. 86. Ruthlessly efficient. A quick switch to left handed. Stunning round the two cushions. Look at this for a shot. Stunning round the two cushions. Got 92. the line absolutely right. Hey, <laughs> the second century of the match is still on, and even Reese Clark can afford himself a little smile about that. He hasn't had much to smile about this afternoon. Now look at this for a positional shot. 19. Just the right amount of left-hand side on the cue ball. What a shot that was. The crowd want the century, and they're going to get it 99. now. There'll be a big roar for this blue. Great entertainment for a capacity Barbican crowd. O'Sullivan on fire. 106. The rocket boosters. Somewhere near maximum. 109. Well, he won't have to play Ronnie in every tournament. Hundred and thirteen. Hundred and eighteen. The highest break of the tournament so far is by Mark King, the new Northern Ireland Open champion who bowed out in the first round against Sam Craigie but made a one four one before he did so. And O'Sullivan could do no wrong at the moment. That's his second fluke of the century break. Even when he's wrong, he's right. But it's a great performance overall from Ronnie O'Sullivan. He scored exceptionally heavily. And he has brushed aside the challenge of Rhys Clark in less than an hour and a quarter. It's a second consecutive 6-0 whitewash of Clark by Rocket Ronnie O'Sullivan. He's through to the round of 32, 6-0.